Good evening, my fellow Americans. I want to talk today about the whole situation with the shutdowns, the lockdowns, whatever you want to call it, the mask laws. And I'm going to kind of talk about all of that at once because there's three issues. There's the economic, there's the shutdowns of the businesses, there's the distancing, and then there's the mask laws. And by the way, can we please stop, call stop calling this social distancing? It's a stupid term when you think about it. Uh, if it's a business meeting, you can get as close as you want. It used to be the opposite, right? You know, in the social setting, you get close. In the business setting, you get close. I mean, social, di it's distancing, people. It's called distancing. And I hope that within a few months, the hope that the term social distancing will be as common then as the Macarena is now. It will go to the trash heap of history where it belongs. Now, I am not anti-mask, and I am not against common sense precautions uh, in the time of a pandemic. So I thought, you know, when businesses first closed down, we first had the shutdown in those first few weeks. Okay, I mean, I think looking back on it, it wasn't necessary, but, you know, from what we knew at the time, you know, it, it was reasonable to kind of put a pause on things for a few weeks, kind of figure out where we are, and, and, and then you know, go from there. But the curve has been flattened, and then some. So I would divide my issues with the situation. Like I said, this is the masks, this is, this is everything. This is the masks, the shutdowns, everything. I would put my objections or my, my concerns uh, into four categories, four different concerns that I have. Um, the first one is that the laws aren't really laws. When you think about it, they're little more than executive orders. Uh, they're put in by mayors or health officials who basically have no authority to do so other than some emergency powers, which they may have depending going from state to state. But I think we, we're certainly beyond any emergency phase at this point. It's been six months. So that's, it seems to me that's ample time to call a meeting of the legislature and do this properly. But I think they, the governors don't want to do that. They, they got their emergency power and they like it. Why would they give up power? They, uh, the governors, I mean, Newsom in California, Murphy in New Jersey, Cuomo in New York, um, Whitmer in Michigan, and let's not forget uh, Fuhrer Inslee here in Washington. They're drunk with power. They like this. Number two is, which kind of brings me into my second point, is that the laws are seemingly arbitrary. They don't seem to have a lot of consistency to them. Uh, people say, for example, listen to the scientists. Listen to the science. Okay, fine, that's good. Let's listen to the science. But that's only a minimal starting point. Because which scientists are you listening to? Do they all agree? Because they, they don't. All scientists don't agree. This is a novel virus. It's something we've never seen before. There's no one out there who we can really consider an expert on coronavirus. There are some scientists who have come out with alternate suggestions. Doctors, scientists, emergency room physicians who have come out and said, you know, maybe the masks aren't great. Maybe we, you know, maybe the shutdown is doing more harm than good. But they get censored by the news media, by social media. It's not their business. It's not social media's business to censor alternate opinions. Now, they'll say, well, we got to protect people from fake news. How infant... How infantilizing is that? The people don't know any better. We, unless, you know, unless we can tell them what to believe. We need to fact check. They never fact check. The people calling, the, the people on mass hysteria, they, they, they never fact, they're never fact checked. None of them are ever censored. No, no, it's only the quote unquote dangerous opinions on the other side. Um, so we need to know that the latest 
We need to know what the latest scientific consensus is by doctors and scientists on both sides of this issue, precisely how the current laws and restrictions are specifically justified by those findings. And we're not getting that. So we're, we're not being given any rhyme or reason to this. Why do we need to shut down? Well, the coronavirus. Okay, what about it? It was 30 days to flatten the curve. And, 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 and now what? They seem to want this indefinitely. Um, law Number three, laws are inconsistent. And that, this is probably the biggest thing. They're inconsistent. So, so liquor stores are essential, but people can be arrested for going to church. In my state of Washington, public construction continued, but private construction was shut down. So you can't open up a hair salon or restaurant, but you can protest, riot, and loot in the streets without consequence. You'll be let out without bail, and the same politicians putting these restrictions will march right along with you as if the China virus, suddenly you, ha you have immunity if you're protesting for the right cause. There, there's no consistency to these rules. You know, it, it seems to be anything that's politically expedient is essential. Anything that's not isn't. So that, that's the problem I have with this. A third, but one of the problems, that's problem number three. Problem number four is the laws are, I kind of touched on this earlier. The laws seemingly are open-ended. Emergency powers are meant for just that, emergencies. They're not a license to put in open-ended restrictions, effectively writing your own laws like a dictator on nothing more than a whim. We have power-hungry governors and mayors think that they can keep these restrictions going on until further notice without giving any rhyme, reason, or explanation, or even a set of standards and protocols. Um, if you think there's going to be some day, whether a month from now, three months from now, six months from now, vac vaccine or no vaccine, if you think that there's going to come a day when our leaders say, okay, that's it, we've beaten this. You can all open up. You can all take the masks off. If you think that day is coming, ever, then you're a fool. I'm sorry to say this, but it's just not going to happen. This, I'm afraid that this is becoming a new normal. Um, when, t tell me one time when, when the government has made a major restriction and let it out and let up on it voluntarily at any time. I'll wait. The, the truth is that once the government gets their, puts their foot on the gas pedal, they never let up. The trend is always toward more restrictions, more control, more government. And I think that's a lot of what this is. I think a lot of this is social conditioning. We are being put into a mode of hysteria by the media, by politicians, who tell us that if you go outside without a mask, you're, you're, you're committing you know, mass genocide. It's ridiculous. And I'm shocked, although I really shouldn't be, to see how easily Americans can be brainwashed, cajoled, and downright bullied into conformity. The other day, a, a couple of weeks ago, I was driving down the street, um, I think it was here, somewhere here in Spokane, close to downtown. And I see this young lady walking on the sidewalk. She's wearing a mask, despite the fact that she's outdoors. She's by herself. There's no one within 60 feet, much less six feet. And I'm, I'm looking, I'm shaking my head and saying, why? You're in no danger right now. First of all, you, you can't be more than 20, 25 years old. You're not in a high-risk group. You're, you're, you're not anyone around. There's no one around you. And I think we're just being scared into this hysteria that, I mean, this is not the bubonic plague, people. And yet, we're, I guess we're meant to believe it is. And further, that it's all Donald Trump's fault, which is rather rich. Um, but the masks have ceased to be an emergency precaution. They were. They've ceased to be an emergency precaution, and they're slowly being accepted as a new normal by an American people indoctrinated by our education system and media to sheepishly believe everything the government tells them, whether it's justified or not, or whether such laws are even legal. That's where we are. 
it's an exercise in conformity. And if you think this is going to stop, you know, Joe Biden says he wants a national mask mandate. First of all, he can't enforce it. It's illegal. It's unconstitutional. Uh, and, you know, it's a one-size-fits-all. And you really think it's going to... He wants it when everyone is outside of the house, even if they're outdoors. And you really think it's going to end there? You think they're not going to send the mask police on to see if you're observing in your own home? If you believe the government won't go to that level, I got a bridge to sell you in Brooklyn. Seriously. You haven't been paying attention these past few decades. Okay? The government never lets up. They get their claws on you and they keep going. Am I, David, are you making the slippery slope argument? Yeah, I guess I am. But it's very appropriate here. You know, I'm sorry, there are some people, some people in our population who believe in freedom. They believe in individual liberty. They're willing to accept to, to a certain extent that they'll have to temporarily give up some freedoms in an emergency, you know, for the public good. But they're not going to take it forever. At some point, they're going to want some justification. They're going to want updates. Um, you know, we just don't know about our own freedoms. We don't, we're not being taught them in schools. We're not being taught basic civics. I mean, God help us if Biden is elected president. Because you're going to see this on steroids. You're going to see national mask mandates. They won't be able to do them, really, because they're, they're completely unenforceable. But they're also completely illegal. But this is about control. There's no other explanation. Because... We, we flatten the curve and then some. Now, I'm not saying that masks have no use. Uh, if I'm around, you know, elderly people, if I'm in a very crowded area where people cannot distance, uh, you know, you're in a, a medical facility, that's one thing. And if I'm in a situation like that and, you, and I'm asked nicely, would you mind putting a mask on? Sure. I would absolutely do that. But if you're going to try to bully, cajole, uh, and threaten us, you better put that thing on. Put, put, put that thing on. You, you're going to kill thousands of You're killing me. You're killing me. That you put that. No, if, if you're going to go through this chicken little sky is falling, running around like headless chickens approach, I'm sorry. You, you, you're not. You're falling on deaf ears. Because that's not going to happen. Um, you know, it, 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 it's, you're not allowed to question these things. Any, any, anyone who's... Um, saying that these lockdowns are more problem than they're worth. They're being shut down. They're being censored by YouTube. They're having their videos taken down. Um, and it's just like climate change. You know, if you dare to question why the masks and lockdowns are necessary, you're, of course, you obviously are denying the very existence of science, which is bullshit. Okay, uh, you know... If, if, if you think that there's going to be a day that the government says, okay, we're done, you can take the masks off, you can open your business, it ain't happened, ever. It will never happen. This is a new normal, and you better get used to it because your government knows what's best for you. And, you know, you see some Democrats now, Biden and Harris, you know, they're, they're downplaying the vaccine. They're saying, oh, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's safe. I don't think people should get it. Suddenly the Democrats are anti-vaxxers? That makes no sense. I think because they realize the vaccine's getting close. Oh, you know what? It may be here before Election Day. That might make Trump look good. We can't have that. And besides, if there's a vaccine, then we don't have any excuse to shut the economy down anymore. And we can't have that. So they have to. They, you think this isn't about politics? This is every bit about politics politics. They want to keep the economy shut down, to depress the economy, to make people unhappy. They're te you're telling everyone you're unhappy, you're miserable, you're going to die from this disease, your president's doing nothing to protect you, he's causing a recession, no, uh, 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 causing a recession, and you should put Joe Biden into office, it'll make anything better. No, the, the, Donald Trump's not causing the recession, okay? The virus forced us to shut down. And it's the blue state governors and mayors who are keeping it shut down on purpose, deliberately to, sh to, 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 sh to slow down the economy and make 
Trump looked bad. This is all political. And, and the, the masks, it's all social control. Again, I'm not saying that there's no place for them at all, but making these blanket rules, no, I'm not doing that. Okay. Um, look, if we could trust our government to give us a scientific justification for the scope and length of these policies, the exact restrictions put in place, if they gathered everyone together, scientists with all different opinions, along with stakeholders, business owners, members of the public, they get everyone together and said, okay, look, we've discussed it, we've come to this conclusion. All right, this is what the science tells us, this is what this, you know, this is all the facts, lay out all the facts. Now, based on that, uh, we're going to set four stages. You know, at stage one, you can open up this business. At stage, you can open up stage, stage two, you can open up that business. At stage three, the masks are no longer required. Stage four, you can go back to normal. And each one of those stages is accompanied by an objective standard that, can, that is automatic and cannot be questioned. It cannot be broken. When this benchmark is, re is reached, we go to step one or step two. When this benchmark is reached, we go to step three. If I could trust the government to come up with such a um, with, with, with such a system and stick to it and not be arbitrary and not have some rules for some people and some rules for others, yes, I might be differently inclined. Uh, if the people asking us, if people were asking us nicely to put masks on and keep way, you know, as, as opposed to, uh, you know, as opposed to, um, you know, going into hysterics, telling us you know, we're killing them if we go near them without a mask. I mean, if they if they tried to, to, to kill more flies with honey instead of vinegar, maybe things would be different. But when you put all of these draconian restrictions, you don't explain them, and you try to bully, you try to cajole, you try to put up, uh, you know, tip lines so people can you know, rat, rat on people to the government, you're going to create resistance where there may otherwise have been none. And I think you'd find a lot of people, even people on the, I dare say, on the conservative side, on the less, I think you'd find people being much more cooperative. But, but, but uh, Americans still like freedom. They still, that doesn't mean, you know, it doesn't mean they're not willing to, uh, to give up some temporary freedom for the public good, but we have to know it's for the public good. We have to know why it's for the public good. We need to know what science you're looking at, what it's telling you. We need a justification for this. And what we're seeing right now is just open-ended. And, uh, and I'm afraid this is starting to become accepted as a new normal. The people are just resigned. People have just resigned to say, hey, that's just the way it is. We're, we're going to wear these things forever, and that's just going to be the way of it. And I, I refuse to accept that. And I, I guarantee the only way the mask laws are ever going to end is through mass public resistance. It's the only way most government regulations ever end. Um, and so the, the mask laws are causing, the, and the lockdowns, everything, they're causing more problems than the disease itself at this point. Uh, people are not getting routine medical care. They're not getting, they're putting off cancer treatments. Uh, depression is increasing. Um, you know, the elderly in nursing homes, they're, they're dying with their loved ones not around. I mean, these things have consequences. People are losing their businesses. They're losing their livelihoods. And for what? You know, a haircut for me is food on the table for someone else. We don't, we don't really get that. These people, they, they, they can't get unemployment. They, they can't get this stimulus because they're not employees. They, they didn't lose their job. They lost their entire business. And I noticed that the people telling us, people giving us these doomsday scenarios, the media, the government, I, you notice none of, all of them are essential. None of them have to worry about losing their jobs or losing their paychecks. No, 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 they're, they're just fine. They're also fine with telling you what to do. So if you, as a government, are going to take away my freedom of movement to live and enjoy my life and livelihood, not tell me what I have to wear, where and when I have to wear it, then you better damn well be able to explain it to me, tell me why, and don't just say, well, it's science. Give me your justification and the benchmarks that you will follow for restoring that freedom. History has shown us that the government never gives up such authority without mass resistance. It's been proven over and over again. 
Because I think Americans are not going to put up with this indefinitely. We need to know that our government really is looking out for our best interest. And when they say, listen to the science, it's not just a throwaway term, that that's actually what they're doing. Speaking of science, um, I have something on the screen right now. Let me see if I can put this up here. Okay, so United States, 6.29 million cases out of 328 million, 189,000 deaths. So we're, we're a little above that. We're maybe at 200,000 now. So, um, there's, so 1 in 52 Americans have tested positive. 1 in 1,738 have died. Yeah, that, if there's a reason for shutdown... If there's a better reason for shutting down the entire economy, half the economy, I, have, I haven't seen it. Mortality rate's about 3%. And I think even this is high because mortality rate, it's a denominator issue. If, if, if a lot of asymptomatic people aren't getting tested, then the, then the number of cases is probably much higher while the number of deaths remains the same. So, you know, that, that, so I think that actually is much lower. New York City has been horrible. One in 35, 3% of the population has been infected. One in 300, you know, one in 300 have died. New Jersey. Oh, New, New Jersey and New York. Weren't their governors uh, requiring uh, COVID patients to be sent to nursing homes? Because that's what Cuomo was doing. Oh, yeah. But, but, but we're going to listen to him. He's, he's the poster child, right? He, he, he knows what he's doing when it comes to COVID management. Okay. So... Let, so these are the cases per population. These are the deaths per population. Now let's look at some of these red states, some of these irresponsible, science-denying governors. Let's take a look at Georgia. Okay. Now you see the cases, the, the incidence is a little bit more, so 1 in 37. Okay. But look at the deaths per population, 1 in 1,737. That's a national average. Florida? Texas, one in 1794. Texas, one in 2,127. Iowa and South Dakota, these were the last states to, impl imp uh, to require masks. 2,703. And South Dakota, the last holdout for masks. One in 5,254. That's three, that's one third the death rate of the U.S. population as average. And look at the mortality rates here. 1.1, 1.6, 2.1, 1.9 versus what, 8.3? For New Jersey, not 10% for New York City. I mean, you look at this. Look at the death rates. This is what people should be concentrating on. So I just want to try to put, I'm just saying, let's put a little thought into this. Let's try to put a little common sense into this. Because the media, it seems they want you to be miserable. Because if the, if the, if the population is miserable, they're going to blame it on Trump and they'll put Biden, Biden into office. This is all it is. If you, if you hear not only one side of the story, if people with, op, with, with alternate points of view regarding doctors and scientists with alternate points of view of this coronavirus are being censored, then you're only getting one side of the issue. So if you're constantly being presented with these doomsday, doomsday scenarios, what are you going to believe? You're not getting any, any other information. It's the same thing they do with, with, with climate change. And any, anything that doesn't agree with our narrative gets suppressed. Well, that's not how science works, buddy. It works based on evidence. And we haven't seen evidence in, in a pretty long time. So to conclude, I'm, I'm just ask. I'm just saying we, we need to slow down, re-examine these policies. Some of them are good. Some of them are not so good. But we can't keep this country shut down forever. And now we're hearing from some politicians that even after a vaccine, they won't trust us, won't trust it. Where does this end? It ends with mass disobedience. Sorry to say it. That's where it ends. And, um, you know, if, if, if you're going to, you know, we're willing to discuss this. What we're not willing to do is have a gun to our head and, 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 and telling us, you know, you better wear the, you better put that stupid thing on your face or you're complicit in mass murder. Uh, you know, it, it, that, that doesn't wash anymore. And I, and I think people are wisening up to that. They realize, give us a justification. Give us 
a set of standards, stick to those set of standards, and keep us informed. And that's not what we're seeing right now.